All right, welcome to the Game Garage. Welcome back, hopefully. Um, this is a, a playthrough of many firsts. First of all, it's the first time with four factions at once. That's exciting. Second of all, first time with all robot, all clockwork expansions or, or factions. I am not a participating member. I'm just the pilot of these robots here. Third first is uh, this is the first time I have re-recorded something. There are just too many things that are problematic with the first one, um, which, you know, good sign for the channel, I guess. Uh, let's see. For one, I was missing this rule uh, in the evening for the Vagabot. If you're in a forest, repair all, all, all items. I knew that. If not, repair one. That's really important because over time, they will get sort of beat up. So getting one item back guaranteed every turn, at least one, it's kind of a big deal. That's why Pumpkin Face here is going to help me remember that. Um, second thing, YouTube user Gamer pointed out accurately that the river does not separate forests on the autumn side of the map. Um, on the winter side, that's a different story. These are two different forests, but here it's all one. So this is always going to be the first starting location for the Vagabot if you're playing the autumn map because it's the forest with the most clearings adjacent to it, and this has five. So he starts here. Thank you, uh, gamer. So I started to re-record that. Um, this is the first time, this is my third go because then something was wrong with my camera and uh, had to redo a couple turns. So we're starting fresh. Third time's a charm. But lastly, um, our traits for the birds. Um, so Relentless is what we drew last time. Uh, after resolving a decree, remove all defenseless buildings and tokens in any clearing with Eerie Warriors. Uh, it's a pretty cool, very intense power. It essentially undoes Automated Alliance. I mean, it, it keeps them in check to the point where if they are at all in the same parts of the map, it's like they don't even get to play that much. There are some times when I'll get two, three, or four sympathy tokens just wiped off for free. So didn't really feel super fun. Um, so we're going to do swoop instead. At the end of daylight, place two warriors in the clearing of highest priority with no eerie pieces. And I can say, because I started playing a game, this is a lot more fun um, than the other one. You know, win, win, win. Let's go around the table. Blitz. This is what we had last time. Uh, and it was a, a good one. After you move, find the clearing you rule with highest priority and no enemy pieces. Move all but one warrior from that clearing, then battle in the destination clearing. So that's a cool one. Keeps the game very uh, aggressive and intense. Wildfire. At the end of evening, spread sympathy. Do not score points for placing the sympathy token. Um, even with this, getting to place an additional sympathy token a turn, there were many times when it was coming back to Automated Alliance, they would have either one or zero tokens on the board. So that's why that one trait was just a little, little much. And finally, just like in the teaching video, Adventurer, you can battle no more than once per turn at the end of daylight, repeat quest as many times as possible. Um, so not a stabby Vagabot, just a very adventurous one. Um, and like in the teaching video, I will keep this one sideways, staring up at you creepily, because, and this color is easier to see than the last time we used the Vagabot, where we had to keep playing Where's Waldo, um, but with one of the factions. So um, they can just stare into your soul the whole game. So with that, um, zero, one, two, three for first player, one. Okay. Um, so making a sword. For one, right off the bat, they're going to blow, blow something up. Um, so they won't revolt here because it's a bird card. They get to do two because it's fewer than five. Well, there's no adjacent, unsympathetic clearings adjacent to sympathetic ones because nobody is sympathetic to them. But uh, so we go over to no such clearing, which goes to instead place sympathy token in the clearing with fewest enemy pieces. There, 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 or there. Um, and then the tiebreaker is high priority. So there's the first one. Um, second one, since it's bird, it goes to ordered unsympathetic clearing, fewest enemy warriors adjacent to sympathetic. So here or here, this is higher priority. That's a victory point. Then spread sympathy. 
uh, is going to be fewest enemy warriors, because if no such clearing, that's pieces, but this one is uh, warriors. So the, there's a tie between these, so this is actually higher priority. Um, and then that's a victory point. And then surprise revolt. Um, sorry, cats. So that goes back. That's another victory point. And organize, no, because we don't have any warriors, but we will recruit. And then discard. Then wildfire. So here or here, this is higher priority. No victory points for that one, though. That's a solid first turn. <laughs> okay, yellow. No crafting. So we're going to battle, repair, and special. Don't know if this is the most useful way for our thief adventurer to begin the game, but so be it. Battle. Uh, enemy with the most VP is going to be Alliance. So we're moving there with one. Then we're exhausting one to battle. Oh, but they can't fight back. So we will get a victory point for that. So repair if you have any damage items, which we don't. So we skip that. And we go to special. We will exhaust one to steal from the cats, which just gets us a victory point because they we don't inter exchange cards because our robot hands. Uh, oh, I forgot to draw a thing. Oh, so close. Um, we're in a rabbit clearing, but we only have one item left. Um, so even though Adventure would let us do that, unfortunately, we can't. So instead, we will refresh. Don't have any to repair. We discarded onto the Eerie. So they make a bag. Okay. So they don't have a rabbit roost. But they do have a wild one. Um, moving from nope so from this one all but two jason clear with no roost fewest enemy pieces and then lowest priority so fewest enemy pieces will be here okay then we only have this one battle two and that's the zero so boop and then we are going to is is after daylight yeah so we will build and then we swoop two warriors into uh, clearing of the highest priority with no eerie presence. There we go. And then one victory point for the roost. Cats. Escalated daylight right off the bat. No crafting. Okay. Battle in each clearing. In here, they battle against the alliance. They get that one for free. They also get this one for free. This is this is the other way that people can hoover up uh, alliance tokens. So when you have Escalated Daylight, but also that Relentless Power, it was just kind of brutal for the, the uprising. Um, okay, so we're done battling. Recruiting. They do have those center ones, so 11 and 12. Build. Building that we have the most of. Place a Recruiter. Three and three, and that's higher priority. Then move all but three warriors. So that doesn't happen, but this does. Clearing with highest priority when no enemy pieces would be here. We only have one, so this doesn't happen either. So we score one victory point. Hmm, this is a closed first turn. And then we discard. Okay, Alliance, yellow. No revolt. Wait. <laughs> Why would I say that? Um, okay. Correct. No revolt. We, that's the only one we have. So two are going on the board. We don't have any mouse. Nope, we do. Ah, but we can't. Don't have any adjacent mouse clearings. So clearing with least enemy pieces. One, two, three are the three. So here is the tiebreaker. Um, that was for one. Uh, this one breaks the other tie. So look at that. We wound up going to both yellow clearings after all. And spread sympathy. We go to the other one. So we hit all of them. Uh, organize, no. Recruit, yes. 
discard and wildfire. I guess we go up to two enemy pieces, just here and here, but this is higher priority. No victory points for that one. Okay. Yellow again, huh? Hmm. Most VPs is still Alliance, and we are two away from here, here, and here. This is highest priority. It's also smartest because it's an undefended one. So we do have to... Two for moving, um, one for battling, and then we get a victory point. Battle, repair, no. And then special, we will steal from the cat. Okay, so definitely not the way I would start off as the Vagabond, but it's the Vagabot, so it's going to do what it's going to do. No crafting. So we do have that roost. There's one. We don't have a rabbit roost. Fewest warriors is still here. Well, most enemies then fewest warriors. Um, move from here all but one. Yes. To least enemy pieces, correct? Yep, that's 10. Move from there, all but one. Least enemy pieces is here. Well, all but one, or rule, which they do. And then here, most pieces would be here. So all but two, they are going to move down here. With all that, though, they don't have battle in orange. Do have a couple battles in yellow. No roost, most defenseless building, lowest priority is 10. Pyrrhic victory. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, looks like last one. No roost. Most defenses building. Lowest priority would be here, right? Yes. Yes. Um, defender is player with most pieces than victory points. Well, first most buildings. So most pieces, either one of them, most victory points is alliance. Oh, so they get it automatically. Bonus points for all of you thinking, why are you about to roll? Oh, speaking of bonus points, if you haven't already, we're a pretty tight game. The Lions is sort of getting an early lead. Uh, put down your bets on who you think is going to come out on top. The original four. Uh, last but not least, this is definitely highest priority that they own. And then swoop, swoop, there it is. I uh, can't put anything there. So five, yes, ah. and two victory points. All right, and cats make a sword. Red, battle in red. Okay, good luck. Oh, nice. Um, this, well done, counts. Red. No. No. Recruit. So two in each. One, two. Uh, order clearings, you rule. Yeah. We definitely don't rule that one. So there you go. Oh, wait. What am I doing? Hold on. One, two, and one, one, two. There we go. Most over here, pretty clearly. We are going to move adjacent clear and most enemy pieces. That's that one. And then again, blitz. Highest priority with no enemy pieces is here. So he's gonna move, and then we're gonna battle in nine. Joins his other friends. Whoa! So they do do an extra one because they have a, a warrior there. Then tokens before buildings. Okay, and then last but not least, uh, expand, no, we put down a thing, score, no, discard. So yeah, there we go. Not a bad, uh, you know, point distribution. So get your bets in now. Orange. Uh-oh. Ooh. Uh, so no crafting. Oh, but it's over here. Nope. Never mind. So... Do we have adjacent? 
No. So least number of pieces, huh? It's probably gonna be here. That's one victory point. And here. Then another one. Least enemy pieces. We're up to the three category. Just here. Or here, but this is higher. Um, no organizing. We do make another thingamajig. Uh, then we discard. And we wildfire. So, over here. Okay. Already making better choices, Vagabot. Red is explore battle special. See, this is what I'm talking about. So explore, that's going to be your closest. So one, two. And then one to actually explore. Pro tip, put your ruins up there. So when you are cleaning up these at the end, they're right there. It's pretty simple. Um, it's not a huge deal. Uh, sixth item, now you can do max of two hits. Way to go, bud. So explore, then battle. Move and battle. And he will take that out. No problem. Okay, that's that. Oh, uh, except for refreshing. Does not need to repair yet. A boot. So, now things are getting interesting. No orange still. Wait, what am I, what am I pointing to? Yeah, no, one, two, three. Yes, orange. No yellow still. Um, and then three goes to most enemy pieces. Right? Most enemy pieces, then fewest eerie warriors, then lowest priority. So, one, 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 two, two. Lowest priority is here. Move from orange. All but one place with no roost. Hey, how about one with nobody in it? Solid move. Move from yellow, all but one. Uh, oh no, this is this has a lot more. Place with no roost, fewer pieces, scroll over here. And then here, so place with no roost would be, whoops, down here. Uh, no roost and least any pieces then. Battling. We got a few in this time. So they go for plays without roosts. People with most buildings. So against the cats. Two. Sorry, cats. Yeah, a rough go this time around. Um, yellow would be all smooth. But three is higher priority. One and one. And then place without a roost. Most defenseless buildings, lowest priority. So here, where they would just pick this guy up and say goodbye and take another victory point. Then I'm going to put this down in three. That's higher priority. And then swoop. This swoop guard is a. Uh, it's good. Survey says getting two free warriors each turn is good. And three victory points. If you had your money on... Whoop, no more swords to make. If you had your money on Electric Eerie, things are looking not bad. They could look worse for you. Battle in orange. Here, in number nine. So one and two. Not good. <laughs> um, no battle, no cats, no cats. Okay, recruit, so all of them here. Going to build the spot with most cats. Move all but three warriors to adjacent with the most pieces, right? Which would be here. Now... Blitz. Highest priority with no... I think that's now going to be here. And now Blitz has kind of been short-circuited. 
because if we don't make people here, I mean, we could build yellow, obviously, but haven't done that yet. Uh, expand, no, score, one, discard. Okay. Oh, get ready. So you're doing two because he was on the most beneficial setting. He just barely had less than five. Adjacent, non-sympathetic with fewest enemy warriors. Well, this is definitely going to be one of them. And then this one. So that's two points for those two. And then one more for actual spread sympathy. Two is the best deal. Yes. That's two points for that. And now surprise revolt. Which I think is going to be here, right? I mean, that's pretty tempting. <laughs> that's eight. Yeah, they're not beating that. Uh, and they do have it over here. So, so one point there. Lost a roost. Lost four cats. Lost three birds. That's that was pretty big. It's funny how all that is dead, and the ruins are just like, ah ah ah. I'm still hiding something. It's a bag. It doesn't matter that you know that because the vagabond doesn't know what they all mean. Um, okay, that was Surprise Revolt. Organize, no. But Recruit, yes. Discard, yes. And Wildfire, man. So three looks like our three, three, three highest priority goes here, but no points for that. Vagabot, red. So Explore. That's going to be here. So one and two. One, two. Uh, then battle. Bold move. I mean, I got a hand. You're, you're doing the Lord's work here, adventurer. So one and two. And then two hits are done back to you. But he does get two victory points. One for the warrior, one for the token. And these two go down here. And special. So it does still happen. He steals from the whatchamacallers. You know, alliance. Um, whoa, he's got a bunch of stuff left over. So he's going to move. And turn that in for a victory point. Gets another one. And he's going to move right back to where he came from, right back up towards the base. Um, then he will refresh. If you have any damage items, refresh four. Okay. And then I get to repair. Oh, so this would have come down here because I, I had fewer than six. But then when this comes back up, it's going to go up here. Very sixth thing. Okie doke. And then this goes away. Let's see if birds can do anything about the alliance. So, red, orange, and yellow. So, two for orange, one in yellow, and most enemy pieces, one and one and one. Least enemy warriors, doop doop, and lowest priority. So all birds are on the board. They are in a not too bad a spot in that. So three and three, this is higher priority though. So this is gonna move over here, right? Because no roost, fewest enemy pieces, lowest priority, okay. Um, two stay behind. So from yellow, all but one going here. No roost, least enemy pieces. Yeah, that's definitely seven. And then from the biggest one, all but three are going to move. No roost, least enemy pieces, lowest priority. Battle in orange. Um, yep. 
pick that up. Battle in yellow. No roost. Most fenced buildings, lowest priority. So, here. And then anywhere. No roost. Most defenseless buildings, lowest priority is 12. Ooh, okay. Man, cats are getting stopped. And this is going to go in highest priority. Should be five. Is five. Do not have birds to put out for swoop. Wow. Okay. Three points. So it's a blue and a green game. Makes a bag. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, battle in red. One and one. Mm. Just barely edges them out. Most pieces. Don't have any warriors there to battle with. So, four things. Clearings we rule. Cats rule. Uh, just one. So, womp. Build. And move all but three. And now Blitz gets short circuited. That's a bummer. That's really a, a that could could be doing something for him. Do score a victory point though. All right. Ooh, a boot. Uh, so they can't revolt. It's already on the board. They're only gonna make one though. This is actually unsympathetic. Well, the least number of warriors is definitely here. So that's one. Then spread sympathy. They, let's see, least number of warriors, right? Okay, so high priority. Um, I'm gonna get one for it though. Organize, no, but recruit, yes. Discard, yes. Wildfire. Least pieces is 10. Right? Yes. Okay. Yellow. Battle. Okay. <laughs> so one back. Well, did this one to battle. Gets hit. So not, not a great one there. Um... Repair, solid. Special, uh, get a victory point for it. Have to actually pay for it. But then I do get to do a quest since I'm already there and I draw a new one. I have a damage item, so I only put four. Um, but then I do bring one of these bad boys up. Okay. Some tea or a tea kettle, I guess. Okay, so orange, we have yellow, orange, yellow, red. Two, and most enemy pieces. Uh, that's it. Move from orange. The most is this. Without a roost, fewest enemy pieces. From yellow, most pieces. It's here without a roost. Okay. From here, all but three, because that's the most. Space without a roost, few enemy pieces. Okay, now battle in orange is gonna be here. Two and oh. Decisive. Here, they both have roosts. Actually, no. No, without a roost, so they're definitely gonna battle here. Just take the guaranteed hit. And then last one, all their, sp without a roost, so here. Oh, right, so they just do it. <clears throat> and build a roost in seven. 
Yes, seven. Swoop, can't because they don't have any more to send, and four, so up to 23. Whoa, boy. Right? Yeah. All right, escalated daylight. Battle everywhere. So against the birds. One and one. <coughs> Get this one for free. That's it. That's not good. If your battle, if your escalated daily battle is two battles, ghoul. And then here, build most pieces. Move all but three to clearing with the most. So start here. Two and one. And all but three. With the most enemy pieces is here. Um, right? Yeah. So here's six. Two and one. Because warriors add one. An extra victory point there. And blitz still doesn't happen because of the thing. So then scores two victory points. Overtaking the Vagabot. Okay. Yellow. Oop. That should be gone. Ooh, they do have... Can't craft. They do have some options for this. So, it's either going... Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh, but they're not sympathetic. So, three or five... So high priority, so score is a victory point for blowing that up, then spread sympathy to yellow, and that was one. Um, okay, so organize, no. Recruit, yes, in all of them. So organize, yes, there next time. And last but not least, spread sympathy to least pieces, fewest pieces would be here. Which is funny because they actually have a thing there. <laughs> Which they keep losing, but they don't, not enough to lose the base. Okay. Orange. So, cool, uh, quest. Move down here. One, two, um, so that. Repair. Don't have any. Special. Scores a victory point. No damage items anymore, so all six flip back up. And that's that. Red. Things are looking pretty, pretty eerie. So, orange. Orange, orange, yellow, red. So one to the new red roost. That's not new. Oh, the new red card. Roost has been there. The card has not. Two to orange. Most enemy pieces. Two to yellow. That's it. Um, move red with the most. It's going to be there. So all but one. Place without a roost. Least enemy pieces. Orange with most. Thought of roost. Least enemy pieces. Yellow with most. That's five. Without a roost. Most enemy pieces. Oh, there should have been two that get left behind there. And then there. So five and five. Least enemy pieces wise. Lowest priority. Whoops. There should be three to stay behind. Okay, battle in red. Battle in red. I'm pretty sure I've done that before on a different video. Battle in orange. Without a roost first. Yep. Three. And two. Battle in yellow. Roost. 
uh, one point there. And then anywhere without a roost in most of Francis' buildings. So right here. Oh, actually, undefended's a one in most cards, so they get both these for free. And <laughs> cats are gonna start with their original two. Oh, uh, never mind. They're, they're just gonna end it here, fellas. Um, because then this is going to go down in 10. Yeah. And then <laughs> swoop. Um, six. Woof. And that does it. Wow. Yeah. Um, Electric Eerie is already strong. Um, I would say Swoop makes them pretty significant. Both of these are, are brutal. This one just makes it so that doesn't get to have any fun. This was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, Mechanical Marquee just sort of, I think going last for them really did them a disservice. I don't know, that, that could be made up. Anyways, that was, so who had Electric Eerie taking the win? Um, who had Automated Alliance, who had Vegabot, and who had Mechanical Marquee. Um, that, was a, that was a fun game to watch. Um, so uh, thanks for stopping by. Um, and I guess I'm going to clean this whole thing up. Okay, so... All right, um, thanks for sticking around. Um, obviously, we have completed teaching and playing with the uh, the original, what happened here? Oh, right, the original four, uh, the Better Bot Project uh, factions, which are the, currently the only published clockwork factions. But, you know, I'm really having a lot of fun with this channel. So I think I'm gonna keep moving forward um to the next three for those of you who haven't seen the better bot project on bgg uh it's where the clockwork expansion came from originally um, or it's the the first iteration i should say and they do have uh rules for the uh lizard cult riverfolk company and the corvid conspiracy uh which i have printed off to start learning about in black and white first, the logical lizards, the rivet folk. <laughs> there it is. The cyber corvids. Um, so we're gonna go in that order, uh, cult, rivet folk, uh, conspiracy, and teach you the most up-to-date version of uh, those factions. Now, the Better, Broad, Better Bot Project is a little more volatile than the Clockwork expansion because this is published, you know, with that little um, errata for the Eerie. But these may not be the same, you know, forever. It probably won't be. But I will make teaching videos and playthroughs with the current version of them. Um, and if new, majorly different versions come out at a later time... Uh, I can go back and update them, but keep your eyes out for for those videos coming up in the not too distant future. And as always, thanks so much for stopping by the Game Garage. We'll see you next time.